just to, to go over a little bit what we're going to talk about today, OptiMed and uh, our services that we provide to help you with these uh, difficult solutions for um, groups that are coming up with difficult renewals. We do offer a wide array of different products. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, OptiMed, our core insurance products, our ancillary products, how to quote OptiMed. We offer our products under on the, on the brand name of OptiMed. Uh, we've been around for over 50 years. We really do take customer service very seriously. That is uh, our, our main focus. I think that uh, if and when you sell a, one of our products, you will know that and you'll see the difference between our TPA and any other TPAs that you may have worked with in the past. We do offer um, all of our products are with carriers that are have an A minus or better rating. And we do offer a full suite of ancillary products to kind of give you a one-stop shop to offer everything from a major medical plan down to a vision, dental, short-term disability, and anything else that, that you may be looking for. Uh, we are headquartered in Atlanta. We have offices also in Pennsylvania, and I'm located in uh, West Palm Beach. This uh, slide here tells you a little bit about where we do business. Um, on the map there, every state that you see in blue is where we do some sort of a business. We do have licenses and sell some of our products. The black states that you see, we don't have any products in there right now. But we do offer everything from major med to GAP, limited medical and MAC. Those are our four core products. And then, of course, our ancillary products and full service administration to include HSAs, HRAs, COBRA administration, and, and EAPs. This is going to be a brief overview of each of our products. If you are interested in getting more specific detail on any of these products, please reach out to me at the end, and I can give you specific information on all of these. So let's start off with self-funded major medical, what it is. And, and basically, uh, it's a healthcare plan in which employers essentially is paying for the claims instead of the carrier paying for the claims it's coming from the employer but it, of course it'll add a stop wash protection to limit those large claims or an aggregate or a lot of claims throughout the end of the year but really to the group and the members the plans look essentially the same the only difference is really the internals of how it works again who's paying for it and how those premium payments when they come to us how they're being split up and this is how, how we do that once we receive a payment from the group we're going to split that into two buckets uh, the first one is going to cover the fixed costs, which are the stop loss premiums, renting the network, uh, your commissions as a broker, and of course, our administration fees. The other portion of it will go into our claims fund, and that's where the claims will go in there and the claims will be paid out of. Uh, we do offer monthly accommodations, so the group will have level funded premiums throughout the year. The beauty of our plans is that we do refund 100% of the claims fund that are not paid out at the end of the year. So there's a, uh, a run out and after we've played out all the claims, whatever is left over, the group gets back. So great opportunity, especially when we match these plans up along with our gap plans that we'll talk a little bit, is a great opportunity to work with those groups that may be getting a, a big increase in their renewal. When we see how that we can match them up with our GAP plans, a lot of times it saves them money or we can give them a better plan that they currently have right now. Currently, we have 22 different plans available uh, under our major med plans, uh, ranging anywhere between 500 and 8150. We've got HSA plans, copay and deductible plans. And if you're looking for groups of over 100, we can customize them and you know virtually duplicate a, a current plan that they may have. Or uh, if you wanna just uh, look at one of our plans and change uh, a couple of uh, different coverages, we can certainly do that for these larger groups. A Little bit about our uh, underwriting considerations. Most states require just two enrolled. The majority of the states will, will require just two. 75% participation is required after valid waivers. Again, experience is required for groups of over 100, uh, but if you're looking at groups of under 100, there is an individual health assessment required uh, for those groups. So that's uh, that's our, our uh, self-funded major medical plans uh, in a nutshell. Um, our next core product is GAP. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with GAP, GAP is essentially a secondary insurance which uh, helps to pay for those out-of-pocket expenses that a member will incur from those high deductible, even low deductible major med plan. Um, 
it is really when you when you when you use this gap plan it really can become a tool to be able to find what i call that sweet spot between the right amount of premium and the right amount of coverage and out of pocket for the for the member uh it's it's a great tool where you, you can really use that to to get that right plan for your groups right so our, our plans can be uh, supplemented and, and, and combined with our level funded or a fully insured plan. And it covers all or a portion of the major medical out-of-pocket expenses. Uh, we can provide our gap plans, either a first dollar coverage or we can put a deductible on them, uh, especially if it's an HSA plan, we can combine them with HSAs, uh, but it does require a $1,400 deductible on our gap plan if you're gonna combine it with HSA. If you do a have a group that has an HSA and they don't use the bank account, then we can do a first dollar. Uh, these plans are fully insured. There's a guaranteed issue. There's no health questionnaires, uh, no pre-ex clause, anything along those lines. Uh, and the premiums are typically tax deductible and can be pre-tax for the employees for their contributions. Plans as far as uh, what it's uh, what's eligible, it does cover both inpatient and outpatient out-of-pocket expenses. It'll cover uh, deductibles, co-pays, co-insurance. Uh, we can have both a combined or a split limit plan available. So what I'm what I'm referring to that is, if you have a split limit, you can have two different amounts: one for the inpatient and one for outpatient. And then of course we can do it as a combined. So we can essentially just say, hey, we're going to put a five thousand dollar gap plan and irrelevant of whether that's all inpatient or all outpatient, it'll cover that. The majority of the time we offer is combined. It's just a, a lot easier for the groups to uh, to kind of understand and there's no having to worry about, you know, is this considered an inpatient or if it's an outpatient because I went to the emergency room, but then I was admitted, how was I gonna cover it? Things of that nature with the combined, it really solves a lot of that. And especially when you match them up with uh, some of these uh, high deductible health plans, it really kind of works as a, um, it almost looks and feels like a major med plan to the members because the majority of those expenses are gonna come out of the gap plan or be paid by them. It does have to um, go with a major medical plan and it follows the EOB and the network of the major medical plan. So um, whatever network that major medical plan, the gap plan just goes right along with it. Uh, as far as the EOB, what it, uh, the, what's important to note is that the gap plans pay off of that EOB. So if it's not covered by the major medical gap plan, by, excuse me, by the major medical, um, the gap plan is not gonna cover it. If it is covered by the major medical gap, then the gap plan will cover that with a couple of uh, exclusions. Uh, one of them is home health care, and the gap plans do not cover that because they're not um, being done at a licensed facility. Skilled nursing, uh, and usually that doesn't come into play because normally you'll have to be in the hospital for two or three days before you're eligible for skilled nursing, and by that time, you've more than exhausted your deductible, and at that point, your major medical plan will cover the skilled nursing. And then on the prescription side, which we'll talk a little bit uh, later on, um, injectables and uh, specialty drugs are not covered. But outside of that, if it's covered by the major medical, then um, the gap plan is gonna cover it. Uh, and we do have some writers that we'll talk about here in just a second to, uh, to cover some of these, um, to make sure that the gap plan is as comprehensive as possible. So here's a couple of the excluded benefits from the GAP plan, but again, we do have some of these riders to be able to cover them. So doctor's office visits and co-pays are generally not covered by GAP plans. Uh, prescription drugs are not covered. Uh, mental nervous substance abuse, home health care and skilled nursing, which we just talked about. Uh, wellness, because it's always covered 100% by the major medical plan. And then of course, your standard boilerplate, acts of wars, workman's comp, things of that nature. Um, so those are those are the exclusions. But we do have writers to be able to cover some of those. So uh, we can cover your doctor's office visits, whether they're subject to the deductible or their uh, co-pays. So if it's subject to the deductible on the major medical plan, the doctor's office visits, uh, with the physician office writer, we can cover those doctor's office visits at 100%. If it's a copay that the major medical plan has, then we can offer a rider to 
uh, cover a portion of those copays or, or the full amount. Essentially, it'll be on an indemnity basis. So uh, you could say, hey, give me a, um, a copay rider of uh, $40 per visit times six visits a year or eight visits a year or $20 a visit times six visits a year, whatever it may be. You can you have a, uh, a wide array of different combinations that you can use. So either way, we can cover that. Uh, prescription drugs, um, we can't cover the copays, but we can cover the uh, if it's subject to the deductible. So uh, most of the time it's on those high deductible health plans where everything is subject to the deductible, um, including the prescription drugs. If you put our prescription drug writer, we can cover that at 100%, except of course the injectables and specialty drugs that I mentioned earlier. And then we also have a mental nervous and substance abuse writer, which we can add to our, our gap quotes. I would say that 99% of the time, uh, whenever I quote one of these, I will add that because it's a very inexpensive uh, writer and it's uh, just nice to have it to make sure that we're getting a very comprehensive plan. Um, our gap plans, we can offer up to two medical plans, uh, excuse me, two gap plans per major medical plan. Uh, you can have a, a base plan and a buy-up plan. And as I mentioned earlier, they are HSA compatible. Um, but again, if they are going to be using the bank account, we have to put a $1,400 deductible on the gap plan. Otherwise, uh, we can make it first dollar. A little bit more information about our gap plans. There are some states um, that we do not have gap plan, uh, Connecticut, Minnesota, Montana, New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey, and Washington. Um, that doesn't mean that if a company is sited in a different state, for example, if they're sited in Pennsylvania and have employees that live in New York or New Jersey, they can still be covered. Uh, it's just that the company itself, the group itself, cannot be sited in one of these states. Uh, minimum enrollment in most states is 5 or 10% of the eligible employees that are on the major medical plan. And we can offer both age-banded or composite rates. However, for to get composite rates, uh, you need a minimum of 20. In some cases, depending on the carrier, we may even require 25. Um, but anything in the 5 to 20, you're going to be getting H-banded, and the largest groups, you can definitely get composite rates. Uh, we can offer it on a voluntary basis, uh, so there's no, um, there's no uh, requirement for a specific contribution from the uh, from the group. However, if they do offer um, over 75% contribution, the rates are a little bit um, a little bit better. And we can use the sensors or paper enrollment for our gap plans. Very easy to enroll. The gap plan does offer an ID card. It's a sample of it that uh, that you see on there right now. Um, we always um, make sure that to, to tell the employees and the members once we uh, enroll them to make sure that they submit that to their providers. Uh, we do have assignment of benefits, so uh, nine out of ten times uh, the member won't have to do anything. Uh, in the rare cases where either the um, the provider doesn't want to accept the gap plan or the member forgot to turn in their card or forgot to have it with them or for whatever reason, they can always submit their claims directly to us or through a portal that we offer their, the employees. Uh, and then they can either reimburse or we'll pay the, the provider directly. 95% um, of our claims are processed within three business days. Uh, and we have great customer service, as I mentioned earlier, where over 80% of our cars are, uh, calls are answered within uh, 30 seconds. So that was our, our gap plan. Uh, again, when you combine it with uh, um, a, a variety of major medical plans, you really have the ability to, to customize either your major medical plan or your gap plan to, to really come up with a, a great plan where the group and the members are gonna be very happy with it. So now let's talk a little bit about limited medical. And uh, this is another nice product uh, to use when you've got a, uh, a group that has never offered any any sort of health insurance to their members uh, and want to offer something at a very low cost. A limited medical is an indemnity-based medical plan uh, that will give them some sort of coverage. It'll it'll have a lot of the same coverages that a major medical plan will have, but there's no copays or deductibles or coinsurance, anything like that. It's a what you see, what you get type of plan. So if you look at a major or uh, limited medical plan and says it's a $50 for a doctor's office visit, that's what the plan is going to pay to the provider. Uh, so it's very, very inexpensive, but it does, again, have a lot of those coverages like the doctor's office visit, surgery, anesthesia, a prescription drug. And, and I'll show you uh, uh, here in the next couple of slides some of the, some of the coverages that I have. 
Um, also, if you've got groups that have part-time employees uh, and they're looking to, you know, um, to, to offer something to them, it can be done on a strictly voluntary basis and they can offer their, their full-time employees a major medical plan and offer this limited medical plan as a part-time plan. So it's a, it's a nice plan to have uh, here kind of in your back pocket if you ever come across some of these groups. So as I mentioned earlier, it is uh, indemnity basis, assignment of benefits, very low premiums. Again, also guaranteed issue with no pre-ex costs and no health questionnaires. And there's multiple plans and they are very customizable. Um, you can We can have it with a, a prescription drug card or just a discount card. And minimum participation in the majority of states, it's just a greater of five or 10% of the eligible population. Here's a, a, some of our sample plans. I know it might be a little bit uh, difficult to see, um, but as you can see on the left-hand side, those are the list of benefits that our plans offer. Everything from doctor's office visit to emergency room, lab, x-rays, uh, uh, imaging, ambulance, ER, surgery, hospital confinement, ICU, uh, all those are covered. And then on the right-hand side, you see the columns of some of our sample plans. And as I mentioned earlier, all these, all these plans are customizable. So if you wanted to look at, you know, let's say the Optimate Preferred Plus plan at the end, which offers $70 office visit and $40 for lab work and what have you, but you want to increase the hospital confinement for 500 to 1,000 per day per se, well, we can absolutely do that. Or if you want to offer that plan, but remove the hospitalization and or remove the Rx, we can do that. There's, it's just a lot of flexibility with these plans. And those amounts, as I mentioned earlier, that you see on these columns, those are, again, what the plan is going to pay to the provider, not what the, what the member uh, would pay. It's what this plan would pay to the provider. So on the Preferred Care Plus plan, it's a $70 for the office visit. If that doctor's office charges $100 for his office visit, this plan's gonna pay 70, the member would pay the difference of $30. So that's our, our limited medical plan. Uh, and then our last core product is our MEC, Minimum Essential Coverage. And really the MEC is, uh, is a plan that was created to satisfy the, uh, the A penalty from the ACA, where it said that they had to offer, uh, for, uh, for groups of over 50, you have to offer a minimum uh, essential coverage to those to their members. This plan essentially is going to take the group out of having to pay that penalty. Um, it covers the preventive services that are mandated by the ACA. I believe there's like 81 right now that are on the list. Um, our plans are self-funded, just like our major medical plans. So just like those major medical plans, the um, the group get, does get refunded 100% of the unused claims fund. I will say that the majority of the groups that we have right now are getting a refund. I would say well over 80% of them. Uh, and that's because the, the utilization on these are very low. Um, since, they don't, since it is only just preventative services, um, it just doesn't get a lot of usage. So um, the, the members, nor, excuse me, the groups will normally get a, a nice refund. But aside of our, from our basic MEC plan that covers those preventative services, we do have our, uh, some new richer MEC plans, I like to call them our hybrid MEC plans, that will include doctor's office visits, lab, x-rays, emergency room, and urgent care on a copay basis. Um, so um, I can tell you that over the past few months, we have been um, selling a lot of these uh, hybrid plans especially when you combine them with our limited medical plan to cover the, some of the hospitalization. The combination of those two plans are a nice combination where we're getting some very good coverage at a very, very inexpensive premium. And it's been very, very popular. And I'd, I'd be you know, happy to talk to you a little bit more about it if you want to learn more about how we can make that happen. Um, and we use PHCS or First Health Networks for our MEC plans. Um, because they are uh, self-funded and offer the 100% refund, we do require 100% employer contribution on the employee-only rate, uh, which normally that's in the low $40. So it's very, very inexpensive. Um, anything above that, the group can decide to pay for that or the member, they can decide that the member would pay the difference. Uh, we can uh, include aggregate stop loss with our plans or we can do it without. Um, on the hybrid plans, it automatically comes with it. 
And the minimum group size of uh, 10 is required for our MEC plans. However, if you're looking at our basic MEC plan, with not the hybrid one, just our basic one, and want to get uh, stop loss, then it does require uh, a minimum of 25 in order to get that stop loss. All right, so that was, uh, those are our four core products. Um, you know, again, if you if you're looking at uh, any difficult renewals, um, a lot of the times a combination of one of those or a couple of those will will usually get you um, a nice solution for what you're looking for. So outside of our core products, we do offer ancillary products, um, everything from uh, your disability, standalone RX, uh, we have accident expense, critical illness, uh, vision, dental, uh, voluntary term life, short-term medical, and our Optimate Advantage program, which is kind of like a discount program that we offer to our, uh, our members. Uh, a little bit more information about our dental plans and, and why we talk about it is because we can offer our dental plans on a self-insured basis as well, not just fully insured. And we can customize those plans uh, to, to make them however you want to make them. Uh, but outside of that, we have our, our basic uh, dental and vision plans that we can offer, as well as uh, our disability accident hospital indemnity plans. The vision and the disability and everything else is fully insured, but the dental we can do on a full on a self-insured basis. Our Talk about our optimum value added non-insurance service, and this is this is something that, that that's uh, that, that's great on that we add to all of our plans. And the the nicest one, especially now with this whole COVID situation, is the telephonic doctor visits. Um, those are included on our four core plans at no additional cost to the member or the group. It is built in. Uh, they get 24-7 um, uh, service from the doctors, U.S.-based doctors. We also offer COBRA administration on the products that we offer uh, at no additional cost. If the group, for example, may have, uh, let's say, a MEG plan and wants us to administer their major medical plan, uh, that, that may not be with OptiMed. We can do that as well, but there is a fee for that. Uh, we have a patient advocacy line, so if your members have any questions about their claims or having trouble making a payment, um, we will contact the providers on their behalf, help them set up payment plans or uh, find uh, any sort of funds that may be in the community, anything that we can to help them uh, pay for their uh, for any of their out-of-pocket expenses. Uh, we can help them set up their Section 125. Uh, we have a wellness nurse line, a workplace wellness program, an EAP line, and uh, we can certainly offer HSA and HR administration as well. So how to quote OptiMed? Uh, we've got a couple of ways that, that you can do that. The first way is we have now an online rater where you can quote uh, directly from the comfort of your own office and uh, do as, mon as many quotes as you'd like. It's called the OptiRater. Um, and you can quote every one of those products that, that I showed you earlier and, and you know, just customize them as you need. Um, and you do have to get registered and we do have a, a, a short training that uh, you would have to go through in order for you to be able to use it. Uh, but it is becoming more and more popular with our brokers, uh, especially the brokers that, you know, sell a lot of products with us in OptiMed so they don't have to send it to us and wait for us to get, you know, get their, their proposals back to them. Uh, they can do that directly from their office. If you're not interested in doing the, the OptiRater, you can certainly um, reach out to us directly or go to our website and uh, just click on the Broker Center and request a quote, fill out the information on there, and uh, we'll get that information and get that back to you as quickly as possible. You can send, do it online, email me to me directly or your representative, or you can even print and fax it uh, directly to us. Whatever is easiest for you, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. Information that's needed for the proposals, um, of course, the group information, your name, address in the industry, um, a census, uh, please include the date of birth, gender, and medical tier, very important, uh, which plans you're looking for, the effective date, if there's any contribution, and for the gap, we do need the current or the proposed major medical plan, because on our gap plans, we cannot offer a plan that uh, is higher in, uh, a higher amount than what is the maximum out of pocket on the major medical plan. So if the maximum out of pocket on a major medical plan is $5,000, that's the highest that we can offer on our cap plan. So it's important to uh, that that you have that. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the uh, the the information that that we would need. 
So what are the next steps? Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about some of these products or you have a group that is difficult and you want to figure out what are the options, what we can do to see if we can get to, you know, get this uh, closed, give me a call or, or email me. I'll be happy to discuss that with you. If you're interested in the OptiRater, um, again, email me or contact me and I will put you in touch with our team that will set you up, get you registered and train. Or if you're looking at, uh, want to review your book of business for opportunities, uh, we'll be happy to do that and kind of discuss any groups that you think might be a good option for some of the products that we have. And, and really that's, that's what I and the rest of uh, my team are here for. Uh, we're here to really be a partner with you uh, and help you figure out um, what's, what's the best plan. If you're new to working with gap plans, I can kind of go over them and let you know what, what works best, what works, what doesn't work, um, what different uh, strategies you can use or whatever it can. But just know that I am here to, to help you out in, in any way I can.